God is good all the time, all the time, God is good. We want to welcome you to Our Lady of Grace here in Encino, California, as we begin this Lenten season with a series of gospel reflections every Tuesday and Thursday, led by our clergy. Also, don't forget to join us for daily Mass at 8 a.m. or Mass on Sundays at 4 p.m. on Saturday, 8 a.m., 9.30, and 11 in Spanish on Sundays. And on Fridays, we have Stations of the Cross and Eucharistic Adoration. And keep in touch with us via Flock Notes and all of our social media for all of the Lenten programs that we are holding here at the parish so that we can deepen our experience of Jesus in the desert, leading to His crucifixion, to His death and resurrection. On this Thursday after Ash Wednesday, our reflection is from the first reading from Deuteronomy. A reading from the book of Deuteronomy. Moses said to the people, Today I have set before you life and prosperity, death and doom. If you obey the commandments of the Lord your God, which I enjoin on you today, loving Him and walking in His ways and keeping His commandments, statutes and decrees, you will live and grow numerous, and the Lord your God will bless you in the land you are entering to occupy. If, however, you turn away your hearts and will not listen, but are led astray and adore and serve other gods, I tell you now that you will certainly perish, you will not have a long life on the land that you are crossing the Jordan to enter and occupy. I call heaven and earth today to witness against you. I have set before you life and death, the blessing and the curse. Choose life then, that you and your descendants may live by loving the Lord your God, heeding His voice and holding fast to Him. For that will mean life for you, a long life for you to live on the land that the Lord swore He would give to your fathers Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Today, the author of Deuteronomy shows God giving a clear path to living a long, spirit-filled life. Do not pay attention to the other gods, the writer of the, of the book states. Follow decrees and laws and you will be okay. Keep listening and do not turn away your hearts. Choose life. Heed His voice. Hold fast and you will live in the land of your ancestors. But yet Jesus also continues to add some more complexity to the story. If we look in also the gospel today, because the very people who speak of God will judge us and will also reject us. There's that paradox. And so we must be willing to risk our lives, to carry our own crosses and to die to the world today. What crosses do you and I carry? that God wants to transform, to heal, to reconcile, to forgive, so that we can be better than we were yesterday. What are those crosses that God wants us to continue to carry? Because it makes us stronger. It makes us have a persevering spirit. And so today, let us be like Israel and like the disciples, that we choose life and that we continue to live. Life is truly worth living. 